kids, I'm Karl Marx, a philosopher, socialist, and a visionary. I'm considered as the founding father of social science. When you hear my name today, people talk about many theories such as socialism, Marxism, capitalism, and more. My works have inspired various revolutions across many countries in the world over the years. So many people think I'm a controversial figure. Well, let's get to know more about me. I was born in Trier in the Kingdom of Prussia on May 5, 1818 to Jewish parents. My father was a successful lawyer. Under the guidance of my father, I had a private education during my childhood until high school. When I was around 17 years, in 1835, I studied humanities at the University of Bonn. The following year, in 1836, I enrolled to study law and philosophy at the Friedrich Wilhelm University in Berlin. I was really interested in politics and philosophy then. It was mainly because I used to follow the works of a German philosopher, George Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel. It was at this time I was able to mingle with like-minded intellectuals and joined a group called the Young Hegelians Doctors Club. I slowly turned to journalism and moved to Cologne in 1842, where I began writing on socialism for the political newspaper Rheinische Zeitung. However, the paper was banned by the Prussian government, so I left Prussia to live in Paris. During this time, on June 19, 1843, I married my childhood friend Jenny von Westphalen and had seven children together. I kept on writing more socialist work and that resulted in me being expelled from France, so I moved to Brussels. Here I found a friend for life with wealthy socialist Frederick Engels. One of my first works with Engels was the condition of work class in England, 1845, followed by the well-known German ideology in 1846. In 1847, I and Engels joined a secret society called the League of the Just in London. The following year, in 1848, we wrote our most famous work, Communist Manifesto. In my manifesto, I focused about the class struggles that I saw existing in capitalist societies. I believe the ruling class, the bourgeoisie, held all the power, leaving the working class, the proletariat, to be working like machines. This imbalance would cause the working class to overthrow the system. I felt such a change could only happen with a violent revolution. My works got me expelled from Brussels, and I moved to London, where I can freely express my views. Following my views, many political leaders adapted Marxism as an ideology around the world. The birth of the ideology started around the 18th century when Europe was ruled by monarchies, society was divided by class and wealth, following which in industrial revolution there was a rise of capitalism and greater inequality between the rich and the poor. This inequality brought the French Revolution. At this time my writing spread revolutionary ideas throughout Europe and many revolutions took place in Europe. Due to my writings I did struggle to earn well and there was always poverty in the family. Engels always supported me financially. I later found a job as a correspondent in the New York Tribune and wrote articles for a source of income. At this time, I started writing one of my other famous works on political economy called The Dust Capital. In 1864, I became actively involved in the International Working Men's Association. By 20th century, my thoughts and ideologies helped many leaders such as Vladimir Lenin, Joseph Stalin, Mao Zedong, Fidel Castro, and more. Soon, communism and socialism became popular throughout many countries like Russia, China, Cuba, and more. I devoted my entire lifetime to writing and working towards achieving a society with equality and fairness in everything. Due to an illness, I passed away on March 14, 1883. I now rest in peace in the Highgate Cemetery in London, and my tombstone is engraved with the last line from my communist manifesto, called Workers of All Lands Unite. That was my life story. Now briefly, I'm going to explain all the ideologies associated when you hear my name. So capitalism is when an individual or a business employs people to work for them for a lower age while they achieve a lot of profits. There is inequality in capitalist societies. Socialism is when government runs the system and workers work for a wage, but everything else like profits and resources are shared equally among them. Communism is when working class runs the system and everything they earn and profits and resources are shared to people based on need. I always dreamed big to achieve a society free from any exploitation and class differences. So kids, remember to be honest in everything you do. Be bold to share your views and stand by it. If you have a passion and interest towards something, keep pursuing it till you succeed. Be fair towards everyone and remember everyone is equal. Try to be empathetic towards people around you. 
I hope you enjoyed our videos. If you like our videos, please like, subscribe, and share. To get slide up. Bye bye.